The question I proposed for this experiment is, which type of ground surface has the least amount of runoff? The hypothesis for this experiment is, a change in ground surfaces that water is being poured on will result in different amounts of water collected for each ground surface. The purpose of this experiment was to test the amount of water collected from different ground surfaces in order to determine which surface absorbs the most amount of water and therefore has the least amount of runoff. In order to conduct the experiment, 1,000 milliliters of water was measured using a 100 milliliter beaker and poured into a gardening can. The water was then poured into a ground surface. After pouring, a timer was started for one minute while water collected out of a hole in the bottom of the tray. The collected water was measured by pouring it into the 100 milliliter beaker. The amount of water collected was recorded as data. According to the data collected, Dirt has the least runoff with an average of 63 and one third milliliters collected, then sand with 73 and one third milliliters, rocks with 140 milliliters, sod with 198 and one third milliliters, asphalt with 953 and one third milliliters, and finally concrete had the most runoff with an average water collection of 963 and one third milliliters. After analyzing my data, I concluded that dirt had the least amount of runoff and absorbed the most water because it was the most permeable out of the selection of ground surfaces. Asphalt and concrete had the most runoff and absorbed the least amount of water because they were two of the least permeable ground surfaces. In conclusion, dirt would be a better, more environmentally friendly ground surface to use, which would reduce runoff and erosion.